up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Wolf Lake Outfitters. It's me and Vic today out here in the Boundary Waters. He's holding the camera right now, but we're tracing the elusive brook trout. Uh, apparently in this lake there's some decent sized ones. There's no, no real monsters that they got on the DNR report, but that was five years back, so those fish could have grown and got a lot bigger. But they stock this lake with a thousand fish every other year, so there should be a plentiful amount of fish hopefully we can get three or four fish throughout the day and it'll make for a pretty sweet day stay tuned we're gonna get fishing and we're gonna catch some good ones mm. let's go <laughs> Oh my gosh. I kind of just yanked him up, I suppose. Hey, you gotta hold your hot dog still. <laughs> Boy, he chomped that thing. First little brook trout of the trip. Probably about a, what, 10 inches? Yeah, probably 8, 10, somewhere eight, in there. 10, somewhere around there. Let's go. Beautiful colors on her. We'll get her back. Get her back. Oh, dude. I still know why we're not doing good. Hmm. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. Never understood a single word he said. But we always had a mighty fine wine. Joy to the world. All the boys and girls. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea. Joy to you and me. Now we're about to actually just start cranking them. Yeah. Same thing happened to my buddy Eric. He was doing rough. Started singing that. Yep. Like that sound. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's go. Dude, let's go again. The rattlebait. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a nice one. That's what you came out here for. Oh my god. Oh. Holy, this thing is feisty. Because you really pull it up in two seconds. What? <laughs> With the pike rod. Lake trout rod, boy. Yeah. Dude, let's go. Oh, that's so sick. And on camera. I mean, I don't know how good it was, but. Dude, that's a nice brook trout. Dang. That thing is beautiful. Holy. Holy mama. Yes, we got it... eggs on it? No. Or is that snow? Holy. Dude, that's a nice brook trout. Yes, and in, boy. Personal best brook trout out here in the boundary waters. 14 incher, just a beautiful fish. We're gonna release it and let it grow. Maybe in a couple of years it'll be a true giant. Well, we're just about to wrap up fishing for the day. We got everything moved out of the ice shack. We ended up catching three brooks. Uh, we only had two of them on video. But, yeah, we still got an adventure. We got about a mile walk back, and then the car might possibly be stuck. We're not really sure. We kind of had to park in the ditch because of how it was there. But if we're stuck, I might turn on the cameras for that. And I'll probably carry this episode right over into tomorrow. And hopefully we can go catch some lake trout. Or uh, something else. Something more than three fish in a day, hopefully. But yeah, stay tuned for whatever goes on tomorrow. And then tomorrow, will actually just get... Yeah, we just went home and we got sick of it. <laughs> I almost just want to put a minnow down. Oh, oh! oh my gosh! Dude, that was the sickest thing ever. Oh, oh. oh my word. 
Oh my gosh! Oh, on the rip and wrap? On the rip and wrap, dude. This squirted everywhere. Oh my gosh. There's eggs everywhere, dude. I Seven know. Fish, baby. That was like the sickest thing ever. Dude, that thing came in Did it just haul in? It literally screamed in. It didn't even look at it twice and it just smoked it. Oh, it's badass. Is that one bigger? No, I don't no, think no. so. It's probably like 18. Jeez. <laughs> you gotta pick that thing up. Jeez. Let them go, let them grow. Not keeping any fish out here. Oh. Just a beautiful fish.